Hi guys, Curtin3 here again with another video. Uh, as you can see, Sega Dreamcast, it's the Japanese version with the orangey red logo. Uh, I bought it off eBay for £15. The uh, seller was saying that it was faulty, but it didn't specify a fault. But when I got it home, or well, when I got it delivered, the uh, plugged it in, tried it all out, all seemed fine. Play tested it for like three hours, no issues at all. So uh, I've decided, still wouldn't mind messing about with it, so I decided to do the uh, SD mod that I've seen a few other people do it, um, just for just to see what the uh, what it's like on running off the SD. So as you can see, I've already made a made a start here. Is my SD card reader part? Uh, as you can see, you miss out the first pin, then sort of the next seven pins. And then miss out the eighth and ninth pin. Uh, as you can see, I got this. Up. It's got a PCB on the back. I ripped this out of a PC uh, as I wasn't really using it. So uh, as you can see, I just packed into it, soldered it straight onto the onto the pins. Quite fiddly to do, but just as long as you use a, a fine a fine tip solder soldering iron, you should be fine. And as you can see, the other end. The other end still got the USB bit that goes into the into the motherboard. So I thought, well, instead of using my K9 wire, I'll just use this type of wire. It seems flexible enough. And then once it's all in and installed, I'll use some hot melt glue and uh, glue that down. But yeah, there's the there's the card reader part. Um, is the uh, <laughs> the Adcock uh, bread bread bin part bread bin breadboard part even bread bin <laughs> but yeah uh, I'm probably more likely going to take that um, LED off and you know run some wires and have it mounted on the front there I just built this quickly just to just to um, have a have a bash see what it's like as, it, as it's running sort of thing so um, I make sure that it's running correctly but yeah just a quick note uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link down below, so I'll look at that, and I'll put the schematics on on there for you to for you to copy. But you'll see on the schematics there's like red red parts and uh, a green wire. Now that green wire is your earth wire. I think it's green anyway, off the top of my head. But that's your earth wire. So you, it's just basically connecting this part to that part down there. I looked at it for a while because I think. The instructions that I got were in German, so I was like, right, what's the what what does this red mean? What does that wire mean? But basically the red dots mean that you, you cut the trace out, because obviously you got these traces running straight across. Yeah, you, you just chop into it and break the connection, break the uh, solder uh, sorry, break the trace. So yeah, I mean that that's me uh, bread bin part uh, bread bin, there we go again. Breadboard part. So uh, I've just got a solder that to that and then um, solder the wires into the, into the Dreamcast so uh, I'll be back in a second alright guys uh, I've just found something a bit interesting here uh, as you can see just in this socket here there seems to be a drink spilt I didn't think much of it, I thought I'd probably spill it on the outside. But if we look in here, let's go get that bit, see if we can get that bit focused a little bit. That to me looks like a mud chip. And if you look on it, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up too well, so we we'll try and tilt it a bit. But you can see that there's some remnants of a drink. Or I don't know, I don't know what it is about me and drinks in games consoles, but yeah, that is definitely you can tell. I mean, I've never seen anything like that on a Dreamcast before. It, it wobbles a little bit. That is definitely 100% a mod chip. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll give it a clean up. I think what's happened is is that that drink there is probably shorting those pins out and then uh, clean it all up. But it was running fine. I just didn't think to check and see if it played back up. So, yeah, I'll uh, go back in a sec. Just a quick update on the uh, SD reader. Here it is. Uh, I've now soldered both ends into it. Uh, so I'm just stripping it down now, ready to put the uh, 
to solder it into the um, serial port and I'll be back shortly with that hey guys uh, right just to show you it's not going to focus in very well because it's only an iPhone camera but there are all the wires in place continuity tested and all looking good um, hot melt glue stuck it in place a bit more just down here and then on the metal casing I've just took a notch out uh, just to dry fit at it just to see what just to make, make sure that it all fits well and it's okay so uh, the next video will be well the next part will be me uh, trying out the SD reader but just a quick note on this here I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up the mod chip but just to read it off it it is CY370732P44-125JC. So I just did a quick um, Google search and it is a mod chip but I'm not too sure which one. So I'll have a, a bit more of a, a delve into that once it's all back up and back together. Okay guys. Okay guys, here it is done. Uh, this is about as far as I'm going to go with it at this moment. Um, reason being is that I'm going to do the VGA mod as well to it while it's um, all in pieces because the graphics that I'm getting out of the uh, from at my TV are just terrible. So I thought I might as well do the VGA mod while I've got it in, in pieces as well. But I thought I'll just quickly show you this running. Uh, as you can probably see, I changed the um, SD reader side. Basically, that was just because. I found a better one that clipped it than that, so it sort of holds it a bit better like that. Uh, I've just got, still got to trim down that excess PCB on there. But yeah, uh, just to note a couple of problems that I had was that um, at first I couldn't get it to work, so I kept going over the schematics for the uh, for the design of this uh, breadboard and uh, went over them thousands of times. Yeah, everything fine with there. Continuity tested everything, and what our was continuity testing was from the back of the uh, Dreamcast where the serial port is, and from inside, just to doubly doubly make sure. And I was getting continuity, but it still won't work. And then I noticed that there's I can't show you obviously now, but I noticed that there's four a, a row of four uh, pins. that lead to the serial port so what I did was is I continuity tested from there to here and I was getting all good continuity bar one wire and I took that wire off and checked it and put me put me uh, multimeter from there to the, one of those four pins and uh, still getting no continuity so what I ended up doing was was soldering the wire straight to the motherboard where those four pins were uh, and uh, did a continuity test because there's four more pins so I continuity tested from the other side to the PCB and I was finally getting continuity and then it started working uh, now what I would say is is that it's not I don't personally I don't think it's that much of a good mod because most of the games that you want to play like Resident Evil, you know, your action games that have got a lot of cut sequences are very, very slow and it's annoying. Uh, but you know, well, well worth a good mess about, you know. But, um, as is a I've already said that I found out that this, um, this Dreamcast is mod chip, so I'd probably for those type of games, I'd just end up burning them to disc. But, um, yeah, so I'll quickly show you it running. Oh, just another quick something I need to mention is that. I was using the newest version of Dream Shell and uh, the games weren't working I, as in I couldn't, couldn't find them to boot up and then looking on a thread on someone's post they'd put that, that, that most of the games that are SD ripped that you download from places like ISO, uh, ISO Hunter or whatever it's called uh, have been mainly done with the, like, the release that was in 2011 so um, the newer versions of Dream Shell won't work with the older rips of the SD game. So bear that in mind. So like, I've got the beta version, I think it is 
4.0 working and it work it works fine but it's it's very juddery so I'll just quickly show you it running now so just switch it on the newest version of dream shell as well stops the stops the disc from spinning which is quite which is quite good uh, whereas this one will carry on for a while And booting times are uh, quite lengthy as well. When you're loading your games up as well, you want to double click. So I'll just as soon as it starts playing I'll show you how the slowdown is. It's very annoying. So I mean Well guys, well thanks for watching my video and uh hopefully I'll be uh back again with the finished finished product with the VGA um, all sorted so until then take care thanks for watching